Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBB Nut video series on C++ and in this video we will be looking into this data heading concept in C++. So let's read out this first comment here. Data heading is about data member in classes. We keep data members as private and this is considered as data heading, nothing else. Only this much. If you are keeping something inside your class as private or protected and you don't want to share that or you don't want that thing directly to be accessed from outside world that's where you are hiding the data and that is called data hiding okay when i started learning c plus plus and when i came to this point like data hiding and all i was like maybe uh, it is hiding the important information so that no one can hack it so this came in my mind because that time hacking was so popular and everyone was hacking here and there because systems was not that great so you will always listen that okay somebody hacked this one and somebody hacked that one so so that time it was like this so i came to this conclusion right okay maybe it's because to prevent the hacking but it's not about hacking okay it is about correctness of the data and preventing the accidental manipulation of the data so what you are saying is I will be keeping something as private. So let's create some class here. No, first uh, let's read this one. Audio player volume increase. So this is the example I have chosen for this particular problem. So what happens? You have some player, let's say ABC player, whatever it is. And you want to set the volume and you have been given from 0 to 100. And this is the bar. You can set this much, right? Generally, this is the values you can go for in volumes so let's create a class we'll get it better so abc player i don't know whether this kind of player really exists or not and we can have just one button called volume and let's keep it private and there is another thing that is a function set volume okay and here you will send the volume let's say you are sending the volume and this is the function which is going to set that volume so the possibility is see you will be having this as a public correct this function is public so that you can set from outside so from here you will set it so let's make this abc player abc abc dot set volume okay and initially maybe when your player will start it will be initialized with zero so let's create a abc player and initialize it with zero so if you are creating some object the volume will be zero so initially it will start from the zero and now you want to set maybe 50 that's it and let's do one thing just copy and paste this volume is equal to x that's it then what if I'm sending abc dot set volume minus 30? Is this going to work? Yes, it is going to work. So you what you will do, you will write a very smart program here now. You will set volume is equal to x when this condition will pass. If x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than or equal to 100, then only you will do this. So here comes the data hiding part. You have hidden this data and given the interface to change that data. And that interface you have implemented in such a way that your data should be in always good state. Your volume should be always from 0 to 100, right? So if you are passing minus 30, then it should not set that volume minus 30. And in this case, now it won't. So we can have just simple message here if you have set it then set and if you could not set that just print can't set so if you will run this program let's hope it will compile see it has given set and can't set so 50 is a valid value for this volume but this minus 30 is not and not only minus 30 if you are going other than this value maybe thousand so you cannot set thousand value and you can set zero value let's remove this so if you're setting zero it's okay so let's compile this again and see the same value if you will make this one 
something else now it won't set value for either so you can't set can't set so actually this is not the point the point is you're hiding some data this is the data and giving the interface for that data to be changed and you're carefully implementing that interface so that you accidentally don't mess up your data which is this one okay and suppose you are not giving this interface let's just simply come on this and what you can do is just copy and paste it here so actually you are making this non hiding stuff okay so you're not hiding this volume now and let's remove this so what you will be able to do is abc dot volume is equal to maybe 30,000 and this will work okay because this is public and you are setting it so you can see the potential risk in these kind of implementation that's why generally we keep the data inside private section and we give the interface like this to set and get those data okay so don't forget it is about correctness of the data and preventing accidental manipulation okay this is just about that nothing else so thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i'll push some video you will get the notification at the same time so i'll see you in the next video bye bye